guys are first. Okay. Here. Well, what we've got first here, um, this is for Nita. It's a certificate of proper functioning from the dean who says that we're operating the way we're supposed to operate and all that fun stuff. And then we have our certificate uh, filing that says our budget put on file with you. Um, here is, I've got okay. three copies of the budget here. What is, you have to look at those. Um, and what that is, and uh, our board, as you all are aware, we have a nine member board that we work with, and they met earlier uh, there in April and put this budget together and uh, worked with us on what we've kind of spent over the last several years, kind of what directions we're heading, and uh, came up with this budget. So if you have any questions about it or what would you like to know about it? <laughs> you, you actually get one of these that been signed by everybody so far. This one was just my working copy. Well, this is your 16 budget? 2016 budget, yes. Um, and how did that vary from your 15 budget? Where that asking is actually about a 5% increase, which is about a seven, well, it is exactly a $7,175 total increase from the commissioners. Um, with that, there's some, we did increase a few of the line items, about $500 on a couple of them. Uh, they were actually ones we'd increased last year, and then uh, because of some budget cuts, we, you guys reduced those back, and so we have got back into it this year um, pretty close on some of those line items. Um, one of the areas that they're looking at we did increase was maybe for next year. We had a summer intern last year working with new audiences, trying to get some of the Hispanic culture and some of the new, for, new for, we call it new 4-H trying to reach new audiences through our 4-H and youth program. Typically stressed toward the Hispanics, but it's also we're looking at maybe trying to hire some intern to reach those audiences, but also pull in other families to help grow our 4-H program. Um, so that's where some of that increase came through in the salary item also. <clears throat> what was salaries and wages last year? Um, it was 130. Um, 825, and that ends up being a 3.96 increase over last year's line item. That line item. So, like I said, there's a 4% increase in the salary item. Uh, about 3% of that was the cost of living for the staff we have now. The other part is for the, um, let's say, if we get summer intern hired part time, and then the other percentages fall into those other two categories, three categories, four categories. I'm sorry. We put that money back into, and there's five hundred dollars in each of those items. That was the supplies, equipment, the EDS program support, and the system, no, I'm sorry, travel. Yeah, right. travel, travel. Yes, I jumped the line. Put five hundred back in those. We did. We were really close last year. Uh, we did buy a new copier last year. Our copier, other copier, was about thirteen years old. And we were spending quite a bit of year with, yeah. No, I just, uh, tires and copiers. Tires and copiers, all we buy. They're not here on the spot, too. No, no, we buy some of the other copiers. Yeah, we, it's, uh, <laughs> the board work, I mean, that's one thing the board spent two or three months on researching. We got numbers from them from two or three different, for two different places, and uh, the board worked really hard to get a good deal. And, you had a pretty good deal on that one. I'm not sure we'll get the 13 years out of it that we got out of the last one, but it just, you know how everything is built cheaper than what it was. The worst thing is, you know, we're losing like a lot of our base to the oil. Yes. Uh, it's it's going to be tough. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Is that going to be half the time? <laughs> oh, well, it'll go in the pile. Do <laughs> you have any questions or concerns or thoughts? Or I mean, that, that's my thought, like Gert. I mean, yeah. <laughs> in the years past, it's been not an easy job at budget time, but it's maybe Do tough. It's, you know, yeah. it's, it was doable. But, okay. And I thought we've been pretty aware of not taxing the people to death and, and raising. We haven't raised the county to let me since I've been here. I don't know when we raised it last time. It's been a while. We went up in an hour or two, four or five. Then we reduced, then we, and we 
Okay. It's a yo yo. People like Carl and me are going to see a huge because yeah. it's all going to egg on it. If we kept things just right where they are, we'd probably have to pay the money. Yeah. I think that's a car. To keep even. Mm -hmm. Car and water told us. Yeah. yeah. It's. And the problem with ice attack, we have large oil production in the county. I mean, I don't know how we rank. What did you tell us? They tell us 30 percent of our total budget mm -hmm. is oil. 30 percent. I didn't think it'd be that much. Well, I think it's actually 36 percent. Yeah. We tenth in the county in the state as far as oil. We're in the oil. top ten. I'm not yeah. sure. That's going to really put a hit on us. Yeah. Unless they resolve something before June one. The rest of it is set for I wish they wouldn't set the price the day they did because it's twenty some dollars and we're all higher now than what it was when they set the yeah. state set the price. Hopefully in a year though, correct? Right. But yeah. uh, that doesn't help anything. It looks like there's a pattern of that, isn't there? I mean, it, every year they kind of it drops about that time. It's almost like there's a plan. <laughs> they're aware of when they know in. those three days in January. That's yeah. They, they they're aware of when those play. dates are. Cause I think if you go back and map it, there's always a dip about that time, probably. And being the ag agent, you know things aren't that great in agriculture yeah. right now either. Unless you've got cattle to go along with your lot, your crops, it's pretty, pretty cutting. And we are going to have our uh, summer meeting for our farm management tomorrow night, so it'll be interesting to see what those numbers come back to. Because the last several years have been very, very good. I mean, over the 100,000 net income, almost 150 last year, I think it was. So, like I say, it'll be interesting to see what it is this year. But They'll yeah. look pretty good this year, yet yeah, it's be next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that. true. I bet you it's down a little bit. It's probably right. down some. Yeah, yeah, I think it would be. We've had kind of a gravy trend in the last few years. I mean, it's been really, really kind of some banner years. But, but. And you need those every now and then to update equipment. <laughs> because when you have bad years, you don't update equipment, then sooner or later that catches you too. Well, you know that with all the equipment you guys in here in town. If you don't stay on top of it, you'll be away from in a hurry. Well, that's where we stand, so if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us, Amy, or the, let's say, Carl's, our board chair, and any board members. Okay. Yeah. And we'll put this together. So, um, do you, can you get a copy of those? Sorry, do you need three of those copies back? Yeah. Or somebody signing? Sign. Mm -hmm. okay. I just don't know if I need to get that one signed for you. Um, for the video. Do you need three of them back? Well, two of them back. You keep one. So you, you get two afterwards. Yeah, afterwards time. <laughs> I can remember it. Yeah, I should have made another copy of that. Sorry. That's okay. She needs to just. It's not till the call. Call the whole bunch. Not until yeah, yeah, you sign it, unless you sign it now. Ah. I'm gonna slide on that. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is a proposal from Terracon for the annual permit renewal for solid waste. It's, uh, I think it's a thousand dollars. Yeah. 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 And this is just for us. Yeah. It's not shared with the No, no, it's just ours. Yeah. 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 Last year, did we do that? We, they had an increase, but not quite the amount they wanted, right? Right. Last year they had a hundred forty-two thousand. So we asked for seven thousand. Yeah. Okay, we can also stretch it, please. Good. Well, you're just right on top of it. I know. See any? I'm making a motion. Just another thing. Yeah. I'll make a motion we uh, allow the chairman to enter into this contract with Terracon for $1,000 for the Stafford County landfill. Second. Motion second to allow me to sign this agreement with Terracon for the landfill. All in favor say aye. Aye. 
I move that we approve the minutes of the May 13th meeting. Second. Motion and second to approve the minutes of May 13th. Is that right, Kurt? Yes. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. So I send them by. I mean, I don't know. That's me. Bye. Yeah. Okay. And are you guys planning on going to the pictometry meeting? It's on June 2nd at the school. Is that Wednesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. From 9 to noon. Carl just wanted to know so they can. my name or you want to do that? I might stop in. I don't know that I'm going to. So not. The time. I'm going to be a They don't need to count me in. I mean, I might. I might do what Kurt does. If, my, my, if I go and do a question mark, if we're busy, I'll Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll just. He was just curious because he hasn't heard that from any. Okay. Um, Joe's coming down and we can discuss this RNS digital thing when Carl gets in here. Um, we need to replace the server back here. Ours is about six years old, and it's Brandy says we're running on borrowed time, and we don't want to crash. So, <laughs> yeah, I I had budgeted for this in this year's budget, so we're okay money wise. Um, he's wanting to do some upgrading back. There. I don't know if you've ever looked back there. It's a mess. The wires are. So he's wanting to put a new. 48 port switch plate in there and we need a new battery backup and he just wanted to clean the thing up because it's just it's just ugly. So the quote he gave me for everything, this is the server, which has a three year warranty, the new switch, the replacement battery is six thousand eight hundred sixty two ninety eight. I budgeted eight thousand dollars, so I'm just barely in that under that. That's kind of general, or where does that come from? We have an information technology fund, and that's where I stuck that in there. Um, but the city crashed a month or so ago, and we don't want to do that. Is everybody paid into that server, or just your office? The second floor. Mm -hmm. It's what we run CIC through. It's what the motor um, vehicle and all that everything. It's the brains. Mm -hmm. It's everybody on the second floor. Mm -hmm. And he's got it lined up with CIC to, because they have to get involved in it to get everything put back on correctly. And their bill is approximately going to be nine hundred fifty dollars on top of that. But uh, we really, he says now's the time because it's having some issues. So will it be faster. I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's just it's pretty fast now. He's got us all updated, but it's pretty fast. I mean, we don't have a lot of data for you. So. so we need to authorize the purchase of the server. Okay. Uh, no, that we purchase the server from RC Computers in Great Bend for $7,812.98. I'll second. Motion second to purchase a server from RC Computers in Great Bend for seven thousand two hundred and twelve ninety-eight. All in favor, say aye. 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 That's okay. I thought I had my numbers mixed around. <laughs> so you get to sign. <coughs> Signal from here to put a booster over there that shouldn't be that big a deal. I think. 
I don't think it has to be fixed to the internet. Mm -hmm. it? No, this no. is strictly for the sale. So for the service. Yeah, put some kind of low antenna or something yeah. out of the roof and then. Yeah. And side. So it'll really help that in there, which will be good. Yeah. You don't, you don't have to step outside and talk to mm -hmm. you. Know? Some people do, some people don't. It's kind of weird. Barely get on if you're close mm -hmm. to the back, and if you're right up in the front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ready? <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> Should we go in the executive session and talk for a while? Yes. For 15 minutes. Oh, it's all right. I'll make a motion with the executive session to discuss non elected personnel uh, in 30 minutes. Second. Motion second to go in the executive session for 30 minutes for non elected personnel. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay. Okay, I will move to we hire Chelsea Kick at full time starting June 1st at her current salary till December 31st. I'll second that motion. Motion, I'll second to hire Chelsea. How do you say? Okay. Uh, full time starting June 1 to December. 31st at her current, current salary. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> did we, uh, did Doris look at any of these cars? You sent out. I just thought that was funny. Why bought the next day? Yeah. All the yeah. Oh, you didn't ask for that? No. They just came in my email. Like, really? Because I, there was a couple of them there. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was a BMW. I have one. I'm just saying that for a company car. I mean, for a county car. But it's not. It's two doors. Okay. Uh, two doors. Because. I call Carl. Carl. What am I doing? Um, just peachy. Good. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Are you going to ruin our morning? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Can I go first? I'll leave this last. Okay, I got that. Um, you can turn it over. <laughs> <laughs> um, last week, you know, I asked you about signing with that AOS company mm -hmm. to do the. Um, they're ready to go, and I did get the contract, and I signed it, and I just wanted to thank you guys. I can't remember if you voted on it or not, or if you had to. Uh, it's going to be for the $2,500, uh, $100 an hour is what, we're gonna, what we got in the contract, and they just bill us for what they do. And then they, they actually sent, what they did at Pawnee County is they sent a, an email when they start, they send an email when they're done. That way we kind of have a lot of the work. I mean, I guess they wouldn't have to be working on it, but... He did approve it. So the motion to approve that. And that's the company, AOS. And it's for, it's for uh, really it's for um, GIS support. Okay, before we do that, does that deal with the, sh the Sheriff's Department use? Is this overlapping? Okay. I mean, can um, we do talk about that Okay, too. I guess if not, I'm good to go with this. But if it overlaps, I'd rather clear the air before we do On this, this, no. Okay. And I did look at a couple yeah. things, but... Or you. Yeah, we're talking about that. Okay. And so I just, I didn't send it yet. I just went ahead and signed it. It's so we just need to approve the, mm -hmm. the, this contract mm -hmm. for the... And it's for $2,500. I'll make a motion we approve this contract for the AOS. $2,500. Second. Motion a second to approve the contract with AOS for $2,500. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. I don't need to sign yes. up. Yes. Oh. Yep. Thank you. Sign. You sign. That'd be great. <laughs> you really want me to sign? Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs>
And so what this would be command the priority on this here is of soil types. Yes. The new soil types and the old soil types. We need a copy of this. Um, I'll get her one, okay. get one. when they because they have to. Will it be yes. color? The copy? Yes, it will. Okay. <laughs> she likes those. <laughs> okay. Um, pictometry. Look at her hand. She's got another one there to sign up today. That made me happy. This here is what what I emailed out and what actually need to be emailed out to all the department heads and so forth. We we sent it out to the cities. On the, I, you guys can have this. If you want to, I would like you to attend. If you don't want to attend, I would like to have you guys as, at least as users um, benefit probably you guys tremendously. You tremendously. <laughs> if you have, if you have a computer in your truck or something more or the access. Um, um, but what I need, because what we do is we use your email address. And then your, if you wanted to, you could just use my password. Uh, that way, it's easy to remember. And then I, if you do forget it, then I can we mention know real quick. <laughs> so if you if you just want to fill out the second page on that couple things there, uh, and if you need it, then I can. Okay. Then then you if you can't come to the meeting, you can at least be a user. On there. So can I come to part of the meeting? Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'm, I'm I don't fine. know that I need to be registered full time, but I would, if I can, I'll show up. Okay. And part of it, see what's going on. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good on that. On there. So that's the big comment, right? Um. What I, I guess what I'm going to try to do because do you want to do this now? Okay. This is on the the uh, in uh, the nine one one. The engine, next generation 911. Are you familiar with that? The, the RNS thing? Yeah. Okay. Did you look that contract over before we started? Is it good to go? I don't see any major pitfalls. Okay. Okay, what, what that does. That's what it brought back last week. Mm -hmm. Is this from RNS? Yes. Okay. Yes. Is this for the 911? Yeah, tell them what that is. Yes. Is that a contract mm -hmm. with? Our our address. Address. They just wanted to make sure that we weren't double. Okay. But one doesn't, yeah. I'll say you just left the meeting about this GIS. <laughs> this guy comes in about this GIS. And this, that's $2,500 and this is $2,800. Okay. Well, kind of. <laughs> yeah. One thing that, that that will do is, and it's on the contracts here, the next gen 911. If you do, you know? Did you say you know about this? Mm -hmm. Okay. This was started um, a couple of years ago because addressing was pathetic in Kansas. And if you remember the, after 9/11, just to kind of get us up to date, when Homeland Security had all this money, you know, right away as soon as 9/11, Homeland Security got all kinds of grants and all kinds of money. And what they did then is they they sent it down to the states, and they, and they originally sent it to the EMS directors or the emergency management people. They had to go through home security, they had to buy the equipment just for them. Like if they bought a, bought a plotter, I don't know if you guys ever bought a plotter out there, the, the appraiser's office couldn't use it. Nobody could use it. I don't know if you remember all this stuff or not. But anyway, the money was spent just everywhere. And then 911, uh, next gen 911 came up because the 911 addresses, there's nobody really had a good, accurate reading on them. The difference with what they're doing and what I did, what we're doing with pictometry is we're not, the biggest difference is we're not buying any hardware from anybody. The reason we don't have to buy any hardware, and that's usually what costs you a lot of money, you know. If we would go buy that Esri or that Art View, that's between right at $15,000. The Cometry is more of a web-based system to where we, we purchase the software, but not the hardware. They're doing the hardware. And when we make a layer, we send it to them, they, they rectify it, and then it's out on the end for us then. So what we pay for the software for pictometry over a three-year period is $4,000 to where if we'd have to buy the hardware, that would be a totally different story. 
and typically on the hardware stuff, and this is where I'm not 100% positive, but on the next gen 911, it's not, it's not going to be a web-based system. What it will do is it will interact with, and usually this comes out of the dispatcher's office, most of the dispatchers across the state are the, um, what do they call them? PSAP officer. I don't know what PSAP stands for, but they're the officer that, that the grants go through, the money goes through, and that's typically through the sheriff's department because that's who, who has the dispatchers. They have it. It's really their baby. And what's supposed to happen is, is when some updates come in, addresses or what have you, once they change the address, if we're on their link, I would get the address, she would get the address, she would get the address, the treasurer's office would get the address, and we would have the same address. And we don't have to enter it four times. That's that's the big thing with the next Gen 911. Now they can make, they want layers, and actually the layer we got, we requested from RNS Digital on the 911 addresses, we got that layer and, and uh, Randy helped us do that. We went down to the Sheriff's Department, got that shape file, and we loaded it on the system, and it's on pictometry. So we're going to use some of their stuff, but they are different from us. Does that make sense? Yeah, we, I mean, I just... It, it's, it's, it does seem like it's double dipping a lot. The one thing after I read some other contracts is, is if... And remember, in 2017, I wanted to get that uh, art view, uh -huh. which is at Esri. If, if the sheriff's department has a license for that, and we can use their license, then we just save $15,000. Because that's what we need, remember, to go from the Autodesk GIS to the Esri. And, and see, this doesn't work good with the Autodesk either. Now, one thing that when I, because I talked to Bruce when he left here, and he what he didn't know that he, he he looked a little shocked when I got in pictometry and showed him his layer with the addresses on how close they were already with the pictometry, and he was shocked about that well, because they do line up. That's what I figured they ought to be compatible. That way. They do line up very well, and that's what we're and they have the best. They probably have the best 911 address. But he said that the pictometry could only do the ortho view, is that right? With, the, with his... With no, we can do the oblique. Yeah. Oh, no, with G, with that. With yeah. the RNS. RNS only has, now RNS only has the, where they look straight down. Right. Right. Pictometry has the right. other. Right, yeah. but I, we were, because we threw back at him about the pictometry that we got in associated mm -hmm. with. Because we were trying to, get him to tell us, you know, if, what about that, about this, and about pictometry all come and mix them together. Because mm -hmm. we weren't, I wasn't clear on it. He, like I said, he was a little shocked on how good it looked with our property lines, with our center lines. <clears throat> when you do you go to the angles, it, it moves things a little bit. You wouldn't want to print a map with the property lines at an angle because it shifts them and it shifts that address up. But when you go down to that, when you're looking straight down, it lines up pretty darn good. And we've already found some mapping errors uh, with pictometry. One thing that pictometry, I think, has done is it's updated, it's told us how old our stuff is. <laughs> it's kind of disappointing, but it is. And, and kind of what Next Gen 911 did is it showed the dispatch, the Sheriff's Department, how bad their addresses were. Some of these things are updating and it's saying, you know, you thought you was doing okay, but you know, you really, we didn't. We did good with what we had, but this is better on there. So I think the 911, and, and what it is, there's, there's only, I think there's six companies that are licensed or bonded or certified to do a contract like you're going to do with RNS. Um, the one I know about is Allied Technical, it's Gordon Sl uh, Slater. Uh, AOS is one of them. RNS is good. It's I think it's the whoever. It's just like any anything else. Who you're happy with or who you're comfortable with. Uh, just like the same way when we when we're going to go and do our um, 
in two years when we switch over from Autodesk to ArcView, who are we going to be comfortable with? Are we going to be comfortable with RNS Digital, Kimball Mapping, AOS? Who's, you know, who's going to do us the best job? And then we would sign that contract to it with them. You know, another another thing that, that we do is, you know, the county has CIC for our hardware and software company. Another company would be Manatron. If we wasn't happy with CIC, then we would come into you guys and say, we need to switch. They're not doing this, this, and this. We're asking if we can switch. And we need 40000 or whatever. <laughs> you know, always. But, but, you know, I think CIC and and Manatron are both good in their own perspective things. I think CIC is probably better with cities uh, because cities have CIC also and so forth like that. So, you know, it all depends on where you're at. Ellsworth has Manatron. You know, I don't have a problem with either system. I really don't. Both companies are, are good. So, so that's kind of what they, but there's only six companies that can do the next Gen 911 in the state of Kansas. And I'm sure they're out there doing against each other. So, so does that help in any way. Yeah. You know, the, one thing that I went back and looked on the, when I got this a year ago, one thing that was a downfall for the weakness of the next Gen 911 is the same problem I'm having though with pictometry. You know, this is some of the weaknesses that they that they get here. Uh, inability to get jurisdictions to participate. <laughs> um, <laughs> people don't understand the importance of the next Gen 911 or they don't understand the importance of the pictometry, how they can use it. Um, you know, that's that's probably typical in a lot of things. It's a change. Um, you know, at the time of, of next Gen 911, there's, there was really at that time no policies on how you had to maintain it. Well, we don't have, you know, pictometry's new too. But, but with the web base, we at least have the authority to watch the user. So they're, they're kind of the same, but there's the difference is the hard, the hardware, and what's portable and not portable. Because you know the entities, you know, as much as I, as much as they don't do it, um, the entities, you know, they, for, and I think it's probably the best word would be that the, nobody wants to give up some power or control is why entities tend, I, in my opinion, don't really work together. Uh, because if we're going to work together it, with a city or, or, or another department, is somebody's probably going to have to give up some control if we're going to do it together. And people don't like to do that. And then the second thing is it's new. And if, if I don't know why, if I have the job to do it, and I'm a little shaky, don't know what I'm doing, and she's going to know it then too. And then the city will know it. That I don't really know what I'm doing, but I got the job to do it. And people don't like that either. So I, I, I think that's part of the problem of and everybody working together. Which I don't know how to get over that. I don't know how to get over it, to be honest with you. But does that help? Yeah. Same little bit on that. Are you having trouble getting people signed up to go to that? Right now. <laughs> it's too early. Yeah. Right now we are. Right. <coughs> Nina not comes right off the bat. Not everybody's <laughs> organized as you and me. She's going to And then we're game one today. <laughs> two. 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 Three. 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 Two and a half. <laughs> so, you know, maybe we'll, okay. we're sending out another email probably after Memorial to, to see what's going on. You know, we did look and see. This morning. If any of the zoning people have got on and looked, and, and just a couple of look, you know, one time, and and, that, and that's it. So they can tell if they look. Yeah, <laughs> and, and and what's nice about that is is actually, you know, three years from now, if you guys say, you know, how is this working? Do we need to renew? Do we let it fall through the wayside? Well, I can tell you, you know, I got be able to tell you, Stafford hasn't got in it at all, you know, compared to. Maxwell uses it every day or something, you know, that's just an example, but, but we'll be able to see who's going to use it who, who, who doesn't. And I guess if nobody does... I would have a motion just to have all the department heads go to the meeting. <laughs> Good. 
You know, I couldn't remember, but I was thinking you guys almost you, you guys almost made it mandatory for them to go to that first meeting. Yeah, I think we could do that. And we did have a good tournament. Did, didn't I? Everybody That's should have thought you did. Space one thread. It, it's just a good thing. I mean, we there was... They spent was, the money on it, so yeah. they might as well use it. And you can use it for so much with longitude and latitude, you know. Yeah, we won't get down to the, you know, nitpicky on everything, but, you know, just to get the... the the, the just of the county is, I think, is important, you know. But hopefully it will pick up. So also, as of right now, we have a lot of computers. I'll throw up your meeting. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Here's the preliminary budget. I mean, not the budget. The um, certification. I'm going to certify. Need on this page here. <clears throat> I hope you hope to the button already. <laughs> okay, the first one is the county, um, the real estate. 2014, and I highlighted it. The assessed value for 2014 for Stafford County was $44,494,584. 2015. It's forty-eight million seven hundred two thousand one hundred seventy-five dollars. So we gained almost four million dollars in assessed value in real estate. Okay. Okay. So you can smile now. Okay. Now we're going to drop more gets to the red letters. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The two thousand fourteen assessed oil was thirty-four million dollars and some odd cents. The 2015 assessed oil that we're going to certify is $14 million. We lost $20 million in oil in assessed values. Wow. The assessed gas isn't that much, and the assessed personal property estimated we're going to lose about $250,000 in assessed. So even if we gain here, you know, state assessed probably isn't going to do anything. So overall, you're looking at a $10 million, probably $10 million assessed valuation loss. From last year to this year, you know, you guys, you guys helped fight. You know, the, the, you know, you guys told me how you felt about the, the dollar amount going from eighty-four dollars to thirty-eight dollars a barrel. I, 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 I projected that to the, to the property valuation department. You know, that they were probably at least ten dollars too low. If you look at today's price, they're already ten dollars too low. Um, it's it's sad what they do to the counties. It really is. Uh, that just picking a value of a, a price per barrel on February 1st was a disaster again. Um, um, there's a meeting June 10th next 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 month at the uh, KCA meeting. I'm going to go there, you know, and I'm, I'm going to speak my piece again. They 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 just pick a number for, <clears throat> and we get no we get nothing on how they do that or or, or why they do. You know, I have compliance reports. Need everybody has compliance reports that we have to abide by. Well, I think the state does too, especially when you look at what they do to you. You know, well, doing good. No, this is what's going to happen. They're not going to raise it, but maybe in the future that something like this won't happen. Who, who actually picks that, or what? Property Valuation Department. PVD. Suppose they three days. Value in January is it or something? Well, you know, it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be the overall because this is, you know, the oil is done on projected value of work, uh, not January first or not Jan or not February first. Um, you know, they could have set that real easy at forty eight, easy, and and, and I, we we still would have lost, but it would have been realistic. And again, I guess the way I look at it is, once again, that oil is our is our resource, and once again, Topeka has given our resources away for no reason because that that one is gone. It's gone. But that's what, in my opinion, that's what they did to the whole state. Just gave it away. So, anyway, that's that's what coming down the full um, um, school district 350 they already asked for some preliminary things and 
we're putting that together just for their uh, school district, 350. If Stafford wants it or, or Maxville, they're more than welcome, but St. John's only one that 350 is on passport already. That's, I think they're getting ready to work on budget. So, so we're going to put that together for them too then. You know, the oil, you know, once again, the, the worst, you know, it'll hit Max 351 worse. It'll, it'll hit Maxville worse than any of the three school districts that we have. It will hit them the worst. Um, Stafford would probably be the least worst, you know, hit by it. And they will benefit from more of the um, ag use values because of the different soil footprint. So. Good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Y'all look quiet in here. That's depressing. Uh, it is. You know, when you work hard to manage these numbers, and you think you got it slimlined as best as you can slimline it, and faced with that, that's a pretty big hurdle. The oil is 30% of the total. No. Majority. You mean 30% of, of our total? Our total. You know, it's probably it was probably thirty six to thirty eight percent of the county was the taxes was oil. Did you do that? Okay, so that's going to shift the burden to the real estate. You know, I guess you look at this, you can almost say, I don't know how how low that how low that would drop. That might be twenty percent. So if you look up here. If you, if you guys do look over up on the 2014, the first line with the A class, uh, the ag value was 87,876,680. If you look down in 2015, um, we were right, it gained, it already gained $10 million in ag values, and now it's going to shift another 10% probably on top of the values. Uh, so it's, is really going to be effective. I did hear that the um, $3 excise tax was voted down by the tax committee, but it was only 7 to 4. Yeah, it won't pass. So, <coughs> I was hoping it would be You know, that's way too more people. Yeah, it, but it, I don't think it passed the whole herd. It wouldn't pass the whole okay. herd. Make them feel better, Carl. Tell them about that. Smith County. Yeah, Smith County. They, I bet they, I bet they go up. I bet their mill levies go up over three hundred fifty. Mm. Right now, they're at, uh, most of theirs is two sixty-three to two eighty, and their one facility. I don't know if you're familiar with Smith, Smith no. County, but Smith Center had. They don't have much valuation. If you look at them, they, they don't have a lot of valuation at all. Um, but that one um, RV part, uh, RV builder up there, Peterson Industries, had 69 employees. Uh, they closed the doors uh, a month and a half ago in one of the community, 69 people. And they said there was like nine families that had uh, the husband and wife work there. Bad thing. Their taxes are so high that they're, when they get an empty commercial building, right now they have that nice uh, shop school building, nobody will come in. They can't give them a tax evade because you can't invent a tax uh, exemption for them to come in because you have other businesses there and uh, they didn't business there and they just can't. They got a problem, I mean, it's just not good. So thanks, Joe. I guess that's the good news. Well, <laughs> it could be worse. Yeah, the whole northwest quadrant of the state is, is really hurting because, you know, we have irrigation down here and we have oil and gas, and that's part of the state that really doesn't outside of, uh, was it Brooks County, kind of an anomaly. Once you get west of 81 and north of 70, you don't get the oil and gas. And I don't know what's going to happen in those counties because, uh, used to have ridiculous mill levies. I really feel bad for Harper. I mean, I feel bad for Stafford County, but I feel bad for Harper, too, because they was number two in the state. 
and they don't have, you know, they don't have as much irrigation, they have more pasture. There's not it's that tough. much difference between irrigated and dry, though, is there? Quite a bit. The irrigation really helps. I don't think there's enough difference. And, well, <laughs> that's how some of them feel. Well, I thank you for the contract. I thank you for listening. And, you guys have anything for me? Slim your budget down. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I got. <laughs> and, and you're right, you know, you guys have. I thought like the county here has done an extremely good job on, on trimming things, and, and now this will be kind of more tough. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Carl, what is your pictometry class here, Carl? Mm -hmm. uh, June second, and from nine to twelve. What day is that? That's June second. At the high school. school. I'm just telling you. Well, but you don't want. Not every department has. Tracy doesn't need to go. Just say that they're strongly encouraged. Yeah, I'll get them there. It's, it's just like everything else. They just put it on. Now I can't. Miss the city, but I can get our people. Phillips, then, though. We'll set it. Oh, yeah. It'd be helpful. I will go down there. Thank you. See? <laughs> uh, you talked with John the other day, and when he got the change order put in on the second deal, so that was the road will be closed when we are going to do that project. Yeah. So he said, well, he thought it maybe be a little more money than that. He was surprised. He thought the numbers might have been a little bit. So how much of the difference was it? Uh, I think it was ten or twelve thousand dollars plus. He thought it would save about at least five thousand dollars on inspection. I was thinking around twenty. And what were you paying? Well, it may it may total twenty by the time it's all said and done because they're only going to charge us for the hours that work. Right. You know, on the inspection part of it. So. I think it would make sense it. to do that. I mean, that's oh, yeah. I mean, well, it cuts the time with closure in half. In half. Oh, yeah. And the locals will know which way to go. Well, they're going to do the whole red, a whole mile. I would agree with them, but we're just doing a little segment. Yeah. I don't know how much truck traffic is on there. I mean, we, traffic counts as 500 and some vehicles per day. Yeah, but it doesn't break it down to trucks. But it doesn't break yeah. it. And, uh, but I do know there's some oil trucks that oh, yeah. use that. That's what my Well, it's well, taking a month, yeah. three weeks to do that? Probably, probably. Two weeks. Two weeks to do it all? The whole project was going to be 30 days. Right, okay. Half and half. Half and half. So, so they probably take about three weeks. Three weeks. weeks. Yeah. I don't know. Because he said there's not a whole lot of cure time on that concrete anymore. I, you know, it used to be. Right. I had to let cure out for a long time. And now, do some core samples. Oh, yeah. They probably want to have the core samples done by the time they're open the road right. a few months of time ago. And they were going to start 1st of July? Uh, the 13th. The 13th. The harvest looks now. You probably don't want to move it up there. No. I'm sure not turning very fast. Yeah. Yeah. And then he did ask me if we wanted to submit for the household. HHR, high risk world roads deal again for like putting some, I told him yes because you submit now and it's for the next three years, so yes. Yes. it's all divided out. So yeah. I told him to go ahead and submit if we get something fine, if we don't, at least we try it. So that might be a little bit back to your sign on that when you other than that. So. Uh, I'd like to put a different soil pile on this new truck, a reversible pile. I think it would be a good benefit of us a whole lot. It'd get a little bit of weight off and then probably drop three or four hundred pounds off the front of it. It'd be a lot more versatile for us, you know, just working with it. And if you start down the road, I don't like to do this very often, but if you start down the road and you're going on the north side, you got to run clear to the end of the road turn and then turn around and come back with a fixed wind, with a fixed angle. Well, with this, you don't have to. Traffic to a certain point, and it would end up cost uh, eleven thousand eight hundred one dollars. Mm -hmm. No, 
that's one of eleven foot? Yeah, that's an eleven foot. I I don't think a foot should have been a foot difference where you can turn that angle as a difference. What we have now is a thirty foot. It's got a thirty foot. Oh, that'd be a big, big, big 12. <laughs> <laughs> you can have the whole room. I was sick all day yesterday. I'm going back home. I've got the day the doctor. Um, the discharge on the one we have now is 60 inches on one side and it's 30 inches on the This one would be 46 inches and 53, so it'd be more of a level. This is the same thing that they sold to Sedgwick County. So I would think it would do us a good. I just didn't know for next year. No more extra dollars than what it was to give you another foot wider. Might yeah, I'd, I'd be an advantage or disadvantage. I didn't know. No, I, I mean, I don't think so. Just because you can, you can turn the Change it. Well. Yeah. And that's just another foot by you buy carbide plates. I mean, they're not. This match up what you've got now? Oh, uh, well, we'd probably have to buy some three footers, but because they can have four three foot sections. Okay. Right now, the ones we have are 12 foot. They are a big heavy plow. I mean, they do a great job. Sometimes, sometimes it's just real heavy. Sometimes you can see the gap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that, that's kind of what I was trying to get away from. If the runners aren't carbide, what, what? Most of the time, we run the runners back up and they only hit the ground when um, you've gone through the carbide and it starts to get down on the unit. Up into it because once you get through that carbide, it, that stuff goes like yeah, real fast. But in fact, they've gotten through so a couple of them a couple of times. On that quote, though, it said mm -hmm. the runners you had marked didn't have any carbide on. No, that, that all, yeah, they're not much difference there because it's a six foot long shoe like this, it's one inch thick, right? And it's just got just turns up on each end. But I suppose that would just be a carbide being like on the bottom of that shoe. This is going to say, I wouldn't think you'd want to run one without a carbide. It wouldn't last for a while. No, but the only time these things really hit is when after you've gone through the carbide in your legs. You just set them so when it starts there and then that. Where would you take this money out of? Uh, we got plenty of money either in the line item or budget or buy equipment or we got to get a special machine for us out. Special machinery is fine. We have to do the transfer at the end of the year. What we have left to do. Let's go ahead and do this and get him out of here. <laughs> Seven grand, roughly, both of them on that. Yeah, both of them are the same. So your trade difference is going to be nineteen no, to twenty thousand. No, that is a trade difference. In there. Oh, this is that is a trade difference. Yeah, they were. They were <laughs>
control of our pickups at least. Get in and out. Just... Okay. I mean, I can drive more than 50,000. How many miles do you put on one? I put on about 30,000. When they go back down in the floor, they get around 10, 10 or 12. I guess my feelings on, yeah, on that is, I mean, the, today's vehicles, I mean, they are built, they're built forever. I mean, but the worst part is the door hinges and the seats, because many times they're in and out of them. I just don't think seven grand is a very fair offer for a pickup with 135,000 miles on its four-wheel drive. Uh, are there other issues with that pickup now? Or? There could be. That's an 07 yeah. Ford, you said? What's the outright, what's the purchase of real price then? Well, we just had $7,000 on the figures. GMC, the GMC, the GMC, the GMC, uh, he said the Dodge was way up there, so he didn't even bother to give it to me. Is that the new style Ford or the old mm, style? No, it's supposed to be a new style, as Dave said. And is it cheaper than the GMC? The Ford? The, the extended, I thought, I didn't know if I wanted to get an extended cab or a crew cab in there and drive that. I thought the extended cab was big enough. So I think I'll just stay with the extended cab. So, so that would be it. Is the Ford higher than the GMC or what's your no, the, preference, I guess? No, the, GM, the, the Ford is cheaper than the GMC. Okay. The mid would be uh, it's pretty on the if you are to 31, so there's two grand difference. Yeah, 3990. I added seven each one of them. I would agree on the used pickups, you would be able to buy that for $7,000. Yeah. 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 She's afraid to touch me. I am. <laughs> I love you too. I haven't been sick in about three minutes. <laughs> Closing them with your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I got some solutions on the pickup. It's a 2007 Ford. Yes. I just keep thinking about that one that we sold on a sale bid for that guy in Nebraska. That much. Well, that guy. We sold bids for the old fire truck. Yes. Yeah, the old fire truck brought more just about that much. Is that like 2014? No, it is a 15. It, yes, it is a 15. And GMC from Dumas? GMC from Dumas and Marty's. Oh. Okay. Marley Ford and GMC. We're talking about Ford. Okay. Well, I mean, if you're only going to drive, if, if the SO7 is only getting 15, 12 to 15,000 miles a year on it, and you're going to be at 150,000 in another year, I guess that's kind of my hang up. 
and you're going to put 30 on yours, you'll be at 120,000. And this is until this pickup down there. We have two or four check light standard caps on. I'm sure they're not worth all that. Right. How many miles they got? No. So I guess I got mixed emotions. But after the news, Carl Brown is kind of global. <laughs> I think I'm getting sick too, so. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Go get Santa White. <laughs> so I don't know. I guess. Saline fluid and uh, no brain. Well, I know very little about vehicles, so I don't have, since I've been on the market for one for a long time, I don't know. They're all overpriced. Pickups are, yeah. Uh, regardless of what you decide, I, 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 I wouldn't let it go as a trade in. Yeah, I don't. I, I wouldn't trade it in. Well, that's what time is the stuff trucks put it on for the way it is. I don't know if I'm ready with the plow. I don't know if it's on the plow. I don't know if it's a plow. I don't know if it's a tractor package for somebody. Or we're not just stuck on that. So he thinks I'm neutral. I'm probably mixed. Frame check. And what's your feelings? Well, we have to rotate this stuff. <coughs> I mean, putting it off to the a year or two, I mean, I, we still got to rotate this stuff around, unfortunately. I mean, I like sitting here and holding a pattern too sometimes, especially the way that, that yeah, it's. I'm not opposed to rotating it out. I'm, I'm just <clears throat> today's vehicles. I don't think 135,000 or 100,000 miles where it used to be. I don't. No, I don't. I don't you know, we're I don't. already below. <clears throat> you know. No, so, I don't think that's the case either. Shane. You know, if you were trading every year, where you're trading for, you know, five to six thousand dollars per unit, mm -hmm. is different than trading for twenty six thousand. Yeah. So I guess I, that's why I'm kind of mixed. I, I would run it another year or two and see how we get along. And if the thing starts causing us problems, where we know we've got problems with it, then, you know, where the repair is going to eat up the value of the vehicle, then we get rid of it. But I, I agree with you. <clears throat> we got to rotate the stuff out or we're going to be sitting here with a bunch of junk. Mm -hmm. And it can happen <clears throat> pretty quick. <clears throat> I think really the deciding factor is what is our revenue going to be this? We know it's going to be very low. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are your tight and, and, you know, defer this for another year? That may cost us, but. What, what kind of money are you sitting on in your special reserve machinery fund? And no, there's, I didn't ever check that before it came out of the. Uh, And this 07 has how many? And you said 135 miles? Yeah, here it is right here. Now. And 
this 07 has 135,000 on it. Yes, sir. Would he be moving his years of GMC? No, yours is a 40 drive down. Yeah. Yeah, it would be down to the fleet. And there's 186 in this year's budget. Uh, this is your survey. This is your buy item. We had 125,000 in a special machine. In your regular budget? Oh, I didn't look at that. I was looking at the special machinery. Yeah, the special machinery is 36,000. I'm going to go downstairs and dictate something. I'll, I won't be around. <laughs> <laughs> So if you don't use that money other than that, it just goes into your well, special Well, we either roll it over into special did. machinery or we do have an improvement fund. Mm -hmm. Or we used to put a lot of money when we had to end up with a lot of money at the end of the year where we could mm -hmm. use it for oil, but the oil got so high and we haven't put very much over in there for the last few years just because. Well, it's all about getting cheaper at the same it's um, it's not not what I thought it would be. The the mixing oil is like twenty cents a gallon cheaper, but the the sealant uh, oil is no cheaper at all. Really? Wow. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 well, if you get ten thousand on the vehicle, then you then you're down to twenty one thousand. Really? And I'm. And I don't know. Would the, would the vehicle sell for ten thousand? I don't. Um, it should. I think it would. Uh, I think. But also, if you carry over some of these funds into next year, I mean, it could could help us immensely too. I mean, that's the, that's a catch twenty two. But I mean, if the crystal ball was sitting in front of us, we would know that. Well, it's not going to, I mean, our equipment from the day of our operating. No, but I'm saying this year's line item of your 120 some thousand. Oh, if you gosh. rotate some of that, you know, if you rotate 120,000 of that over. Go oh, into the special machine, special improvement. Or even into next year's budget. I mean, this thirty-one thousand is not a lot, a big no. number when you're an overall picture. But it's. I just think for today's vehicles and the miles that are on these two particular vehicles, it's worth a gamble. Of, I'll probably wait. That's my opinion. But of course, the next year's price could be. It could be, <laughs> but you know, it, it could be lower too. Yeah. I mean, if they don't, some of the sales of some of these new, of the newer equipment and stuff, you know, really backed up. So, I don't know. I, it, <clears throat> yeah, we might have to bite the bullet next year. <laughs> I mean, and if this thing costs us some repairs, you know, without knowing if there's how mechanical it, it is, or, you know, how sound it is, I don't. It's kind of it's tough. To, or unless we do go ahead and sell it on Purple Wave when we sell the truck at the same auction and, you know, we just see what it does sell for. Mm -hmm. And I'll make a decision after that, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, can you get by without it for a month or two? Without pick up in the summertime, you know, I suppose we could. I, mean, we'll I, I don't. So sometimes we're right, short for right. once in a while, but you just figure it out. Well, I mean, it would probably be a month at the longest. If you do what you now, you're selling. So if you just sell truck. this truck first before you buy the, the new one. I see. Because they have the purple green options all the time. One when they lease one week. And 
and I'd be able to even use the two together to buy, <coughs> you know, your dump truck and the snow plow and the, what else equipment or some other stuff you're not using down there that needs cleaned up. Well, that's well, at some point we're going to have to do something with crank. I don't think we're going to sort of pop up there. Because I just, I see that as cost burning for, for what we do. So we'll probably get rid of it in the next year. Yes, I don't think much. Those old no, 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 it's not very much exactly right. I mean, other than the liability cost for us. So you're replacing it? No, 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 no. No, no crank, no. I, I, I just can't see putting that kind of training and stuff in the time. We're not using it enough. enough. <coughs> you know, if we build bridges everywhere and we build them up, we used to. It's sort of for the winter, they probably be worth it, but we don't do that anymore because most of our bridges are in pretty shape. What would you do if you did have rent one? Or? We, 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 what, well, we'd pawn eight county cars on the country and drive the pile. Oh, uh, no, I see. There, so. I see. You just have a little bit of contract expense. So my car would be probably for you, know, which would be okay. Because it would consist of with estimator. I see. Because most of our structures are really 30 foot. Right. They're not too many 60 foot or something. You haven't asked Jim or anybody what that pickup would be worth in a car auction. No, I haven't. He has a pretty good handle on that pickup because so he's buying and trading them all the time. <coughs> but I think that's probably what they do too. With the wholesale. They're going to keep something up there a little bit around here. Very seldom. Can you put a reserve on Purple Wave? I don't know. I don't know. Well, sure. One of the things, you just you know, post it and see what, what activity it would get. And, and I mean, from watching the Purple Wave and watching some of them vehicles sell, I mean, they made pretty good money. So is this 
Twenty-eight hundred, or is it I don't all, all, all don't together? Don't add them all together. I cannot remember. You might want to call it after a while. That's the year you said. Yeah, I don't know if we do twenty-eight hundred, forty-seven, or it's all three of those, or one of those. Or Acceptable, and he doesn't accept 7,000 in the dealership. They really want to sell that truck from something. Oh, they don't bargain. They don't bargain very much. Because the demand is. I would if it was mine personally. But... <laughs> <laughs> they take that in the next next driver's heading east. Is that what they're going to do? Yeah, they take it to the driver's head and east. It goes to Kansas City. <laughs> okay, so for the month of April, we had 20 runs. As you can see, about half of them are paid so far. The ones that are actually still pending are your commercial insurance that take 30 to 90 days to pay. There's one or two Medicare, but they were newly launched. So, And we received 10,332.16 for the month. I'm a little busier. We were 14 to 16 runs, and it's increased a little bit. Where does that money go when we when it's collected? <coughs> to the treasurer? <laughs> I mean, oh, no, but I mean, does it go to the general fund or does it goes? It goes into her. Her. Okay. Like I get it from Lisa, and she does with it. I have no idea. I'm like, <laughs> she has revenue line items on her budget, and that's where it goes. Again. Okay. I was sitting there thinking, have I had that before? <laughs> I don't think so because I went, oh, she's not in the general fund. She's on her own. Okay. <coughs> As you can see, ARSI is starting to pay something up. They had quite a few payments this month. And for the record, I tried. I tried to, to slim down the budget. However, I would have. But um, pretty much the budget, we're sitting pretty well, which is about all of our line items. We did have one, the 4315. We had trash and a copier being taken out of that line item, and so it was shorting it a little bit. And so um, we moved them all around. That's going to be only EMS due, so we shouldn't be having any problems with that in the next year. Move the um, copier down to leases, because I was going to cut that budget at first, and then I looked and went, oh, it's getting cut out of the wrong one. Our copier, we spend more money on our copier basically January through May when we're in T class, and then after that it kind of drops off. So we need to keep that money in there if we can. Um, trash service is $1,200 per year, basically. And we decided it needed to come out of the building repairs and fund maintenance, and with that $1,200 alone, I just wanted a little bit of an increase for lawn care as well, just a little bit of wood on them. Um, everything else remained the same. However, EMS radios, we have to I allow for with them going digital. Uh, we have 30 crew members right now, so we have 28 crew members that have radios that would need to be 14,771.12. Two EMS administrative radios, those will actually let us squelch, squeal, whatever they call that, you know, um, for 1,339.30. And then we have four EMS units that we have put in the medical units um, for 2020.48. Total of 18,130.90 on a hidden. Of course, the 24, just to give us a little bit of wriggle room, we can have four additional radios throughout the year. Um, so the budget there is going to be 333.050. If I didn't have those radios to allow for, it wouldn't have been an increase at all. We decreased. <clears throat> but there was a transfer out of a hundred thousand. How do you think this is as slim as it can be? When I went through um, where we're sitting at right now, from what we used from 2014 mm -hmm. to now, we're right now we're sitting really good. Um, I can look at slimming it later. I mean, if I can cut anything else, I will. Um, but right now, we're just kind of close. We don't have a whole lot of wiggle room where we're at. The lease is as soon as I can find out, because I was actually going to cut that in half, but when I realized it was coming out of the wrong line item and it was shorting that line item, but realized I had to go back down here, we might be able to cut that down more when I see what we're actually used for the entire year. Because right now it's saying 859.44 is what we used in 2014. Um, 
and we can see about that line on them so as soon as we can. I just don't want to short it too much. Gavin said it usually runs about $200 per month when we're in classes, and so I was just that's going to be $2,400 for a year, but we can cut it in half with after May. So we might be able to play with that one. It said the radio is the biggest thing. I mean, that's the only thing that... Can you talk to Tom about this? I thought there was uh, something they were going to do with those radios, or some grant, or some program, or something they were going to involved. I can't remember the details on it. They had the radio guy here that day. Mm -hmm. Well, they were talking about how they're going to have to purchase 70 for the fire department. Yeah. Um, and then I would take the people that were EMS. So I can talk to Tom more about radios, but he told me to definitely allow for radios in my budget okay. for this coming year. So. So I can talk to him a little bit more and see. I can't remember the details of what we're talking about. So we good on pagers and yeah, we whatever pagers else. are obsolete now. <laughs> we only use well, pagers are obsolete. We don't even use those. We just use the radios. whole digital, they went to digital world that just really kind of, oh, really? <laughs> um, like I said, there, that's, that's, a, and I, they'll be beneficial, I know they will. But. Why did we have the budget last year at 412 and then we transferred out the 100000 The auditors built that 100000 in there. Her actual expenses were 312 Correct. The auditors put that. Why? Because they had money they needed to spread out somewhere, so they would put a transfer in there for them. <clears throat> so actually, the budget's going from 312 to 333, and like Misty said, 20,000 of that's radio, so it's about where it was at. Yeah, pretty close. Michelle has taken on the role as EMS uh, St. John crew captain. So she actually puts all the call and run time into the spreadsheets for payroll and the burden schedule. She's also taken over supply inventory, ordering supplies, and maintaining the ambulances. And puts, uh, she also puts written run and report data into our electronic tracking system called Image Trend. Michelle is very, very flexible with her work schedule, um, picking up extra shifts as needed, responding to emergencies when she's not actually on the schedule. Um, Michelle also dual respond to fire on and off duty. During the day, Michelle and I will jump the fire truck if they don't have response. At night, she does the same thing if she's off call, she will go. Um, so she's a asset to them as well. Um, she co-instructed the EMT class this year. Uh, she's gaining her CPR instructor certification right now as we speak. Uh, she's cross-trained at EMS vouchers and she leads EMS crew meetings in my absence. So when I'm on that minute unit and I have to roll, she takes over. Um, she's a huge asset to us and I think she's doing an excellent job. So, Any more flexibility is very hard. I mean, it has been that when people have quit, what have they always said? My call time, call time, call time sucks. They, they want to have a personal life. Mm -hmm. um, it's very hard to find somebody that, especially, we're on a medic unit, we're gone. She'll first respond by herself in the medic unit. She's not afraid to go by herself. And that's very hard to find these days. Do you want to re-read it? I ran, no? out, of, I ran <laughs> out of room. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to write the readable thing. Anymore. Effective June 1, 2015. I'll make the motion we increase Michelle Houston from range 5, step 1. Range five, step three, which is fourteen dollars. Second. 
twenty-two cents per hour effective June one, twenty fifteen. Motion and second to uh, raise Shell Houston from range five step one to range five step three. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion. I'm going to go less on myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> I still say. Thank you. There you Thank go. You. Thank you. What else? Joe was coming back, but I guess. We got the minutes. We got that. No, we got vouchers. Check check no, no checks. No checks. No checks. Just the next I wanted to ask him about Child welfare, truancy, and sheriff. No, Joe. Joe. Full recess. Seven miles to the Anderson Black West, West, two miles, and then south. And I can't wait to work with all this ton of charges. Mile and a half south on the yeah. west side. Yeah. Of the mm -hmm. Well, the way we went. It'd be down. less dirt road if you go that one, way. right? Looks like okay. And this should be the road. last of the total charges. Let me talk to Dad, and I'll let you. Because last week we did because he was civil war, I mean, his D-A-R. Talking about townships, I give you rave reviews for the county. I mean, they like St. John Hall. Oh, That's all. Awful? Great. Oh, great. No, great. I've got people driving by my room at 60 mile an hour after the rain. They would have never done that. Why don't you tell me? Well, well I'm sorry. Jeez. Phil's done a very good job with that. What do you have for us, Joe? Not a whole lot. He'd ask me to come on down. Well, I just want you to get that contract. Okay. Kurt, or no, Clay wants to have Yes. <laughs> I guess there was an incident at Stafford School last week involving some drugged out parents and stuff. So that'd be... I haven't gotten a report on that. City police, but that'd be following their jurisdiction, yeah. would be child endangerment, SRS was involved. Well, um, I've not seen it. Now, Stafford PD is generally good about getting me something writing with some substance to it. But uh, sometimes it's a matter of weeks. I, I, I don't know what, okay. well, their, just... what their procedure is. I'm, I'm assuming the report has to be vet, the written report has to be vetted by Chief Brown. And I don't know if they run it past their city attorney. That I don't know. Okay. It would have resulted in a lockdown. Yeah. The quickest reporter is probably Maxville. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's only two, two of them, so. If that in a matter of hours. Because, mm -hmm. for example, we had a gal last name of Barfield in custody. And, Luckily, she, she bombed it out because I've never received anything upon which I could you know, make a charging decision. The United States Supreme Court seems to think that no matter where you are in the United States of America, people ought to be formally charged within 48 hours of their warrantless arrest. They, they don't make an exception for holidays or weekends. So like I say, that's why I got the fax machine. <laughs> it works. I mean, people call me a Luddite, but I don't have all this modern stuff. The little fax machine works great. <clears throat> Anything else? Nope. You got any for us, Joe? I guess we'll adjourn.